Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Ragplay's Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. When last we left off, we were inside Faza's lodge here, and we were about to talk to uh, Faza Utral, the owner and proprietor of the place. Let's see if we can sort out uh, the business with that raid plate from uh, Shalina over there, so we can help her out. So let's do that. Well, a new face. Come to test your skill on the endless dunes of Tatooine. Faza's lodge is the place to do it. This world may not have much, but it does have the meanest predators on the side of the galactic rim. A hunter's paradise. Uh, you run the you run this lodge for the hunters? This is a hunting lodge. I purchase what the sportsmen bring in. It's not a bad little job. Um, I've got some questions about hunting. You want to know how to get in on it? You just pay 200 credits for a license down at the Zerka office. No license, no hunting. Uh, why do I need a license? You need a license because nobody gets out of the city without one. Zerka Corporation uses it to keep track of people. They want people to know that if they step outside the gates, they are on their own. Only serious hunters pay the 200 credit fee. Once you have a license, I'll pay for whatever spoils of the hunt you can bring back. I have off-world buyers that take them. Uh, would you consider lowering the fee? Well, that's not up to me now, is it? You'd have to talk to the people down at the Zerka office in the center of town. Uh, what is there to hunt on Tatooine? Most of our boys confine themselves to hunting raid, large fleshy beasts, as tall as a man, or a tall man, too. Uh, Desert Raid have a large bone plate on their head that I pay well for, but that's not where the real glory lies. You've probably heard of the big prize, the Great Dragon, the most fearsome predator in the system they are. If you can find one, and I doubt you will, I'll buy the stones polished in their gizzards, the dragon pearls. Uh, the dragons are rare, then. I think it'd be easier to find such a gigantic creature. Comet's father took one down, but that was years ago. What was so special about Komat's father that he was able to find such a creature? Yeah. He's been a hunter for years using strict traditional methods. Komat is just like him. Maybe he'll show you a thing or two out on the dunes. Uh, let's go back to my first question. Alright then, just keep it brief, will you? Um, I'd like to ask about Tatooine. Not much to tell. Baron Place can't support much, but I've managed to get some off-world hunters to show up. I suppose there's trouble here, like anywhere else, but you'd have to ask someone else about that. I keep to myself. Uh, anything out of the ordinary happening? You mean here on Tatooine, or just in general? I heard about the destruction of Terrace. Don't know anything specific. I'm not surprised something like it happened. I remember the Exarchoon War and how the Sith and the Jedi fought across worlds. Don't have much interest in either group. Both act like they're above my concerns, and I guess they are. Know about anything more local? Uh, Zerka Corporation is always complaining about sand people. I stay out of it. We hunt animals, not people. And I guess the Jawas are being pushed around again. At least that's what I think they said. It's tough to tell sometimes. You'll have to talk to these groups yourselves for more. I keep to myself. Right. Uh, do you have anything else to say about hunting? Back to my first questions. Uh, I have something to sell you. I'm sorry, but I'm not allowed to even look at what you have until I see a hunting license. Circuit Corporation rules. The other hunters all have theirs. I can't make exceptions or I'll get shut down. Well, fair enough, my friend. I guess I shall go see about that license at the Zerka offices. I will be back. I'll be here. I keep hunters hours. Faz is always open. Nice. Hello again. Always a pleasure. What brings you back to Faz's? Did not mean to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, I have to go goodbye. Um, that's it for in here. I guess we just leave now. Alright, so, 
You are back. Oh, oh dear. Please, have you sold the plate I gave you? My children and I are counting on the credits. I haven't sold it yet, but I promise I'll come back. Please hurry. The credits are all we have to start again. Don't worry, I will. Right, so I was about to run forward here. <laughs> Mana demo not. That human woman, I am outraged at her arrogance. You, do all of your species place yourselves on such annoying pedestals? Uh, I'm sorry, what are you talking about? You should be sorry for sharing a species with that, that creature. I swear, Helena must be your word for pit rancor. <laughs> Helena? Bastila, isn't that your mother's name? Her mother was supposed to be here somewhere. Ask if they've seen her. Seen her? Human, you couldn't miss her if you tried. She strolled into the cantina like she owned the place. Is she still there? Probably. I don't think anyone else could top her attitude, so she won't be leaving. I won't be going back while she's there, though. We should try to find her. I doubt she wants to be kept waiting. You're actually looking for her? You humans, you're all out of your minds. <laughs> Alright. Well then. Um, I think these are the Zerka offices right up here, but... This is a Sangrid Tradesman Duros. Sandcrawler Mechanic. Well, he's different. Something you want? I don't have a lot of time for talk, so please, make it quick. We've, we've stumbled into Christopher Walken here. I, I did not expect to be seeing him quite so soon in the game. Uh, I just want to ask some questions. Hmm. All right, but I'm not sure what I could say to interest you. I just work on the crawlers. Uh, describe your job and who you work for. I repair the sand crawlers when they return from the mines. They get pretty banged up, even without the attacks. What attacks do you mean? The sand people attack them pretty regularly. Zerka Corporation is getting pretty sick of it, I hear. They've offered bounties on sand people for a while now. But few hunters take them up on it. Too dangerous. Right. Well, where can I learn about these bounties? Try at the Zerka offices, right here. They'd know. When do the sand crawlers head out? Oh, the big crawlers head out at dawn. That's so they avoid the bigger predators. The raid, I mean. Doesn't help avoid the sand people, though. They attack pretty regular, no matter what Zerka Corporation tries. Can you tell me about tattooing an anchorhead? Well, it's a hole in the galaxy as far as I'm concerned. I doubt this outpost will last much longer. But that's happened before and will happen again. Anchorhead has been resettled a few times now. Why have previous settlements failed? Well, Tatooine fools people. It looks like it might have a good supply of resources, but it doesn't. Before a company learns this, they've already set up communities to support operations they now can't afford. Uh, company pulls out, cities dry up, yeah. and after a few years, someone that doesn't know why it failed tries again. Zerka Corporation isn't doing well here. No one is. I guess it looked like a promising mining planet, but the metal... I tell you, it just isn't right. I've been a mechanic my whole life. I've never seen anything corrode as fast as Tatooine metal. It's why whoever was here before left, and why Zerka will leave, and why whoever comes next will leave. Well, that's all I need, thank you. All right then, back to work, I guess. Yep. Footlocker. Med pack, credits, and parts. Or standard KOTOR fare. One moment, folks. I think I'm just going to shut my window here. Uh, I don't know what is with the traffic today, but geez, a lot of people going up and down in the middle of the day on a weekday. Be right back. All right, sorry about that, folks. All taken care of, though. Let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, check out the Zerka offices here. See about that employment. You'll be hearing about this, you Zerka puppet. I'm not going to let this drop. You can't just murder a whole village. And don't tell me to take my concerns to your corporate kiosk. I know where I'm not wanted. Uh, what's going on here? Who are you? 
I'm done talking in this office. They aren't interested in listening to me. I doubt they will even acknowledge I was here. Typical corporate evasion. That's what happens when they own everything. No accountability. Don't even bother bringing that up. Okay. Well, uh... Looks like there's only two people in here. Um... Talk to this protocol officer that he was talking to. Interesting. Interesting haircut you have. <laughs> Just going bald, I think. Can I help you? These are the offices of the Zerka Corporation. I trust you have business with the company. If this is about employment, I'm afraid all regular mining positions are full. And before you ask, we are also no longer selling hunting licenses. <laughs> I want to ask about hunting licenses, though. <laughs> as I said, we are no longer selling them. There are too many people cavorting about outside the walls as it is. Why would I need a license anyway? We use them to ensure that only people judged fit by Zerka Corporation are allowed outside the city. We don't allow casual exploration because of legal concerns. Zerka Corporation takes no responsibility for loss of life on the dunes. It's just so we can keep track of people. No one leaves the city without a Zerka hunting license. Okay, but what's to stop people from just flying in on a ship and then landing outside the city limits? Like, it's not like you own the planet, lady. Um, I guess it's to stop, like, shuttle travelers or the, the basic public that's coming here to get out. Prevent, uh, you know, prevent liability, basically. We're not guarding their gates well enough and protecting the local populaces. Um, so have there been a lot of people leaving the city? With the downturn in mining, people want any chance at credits they can get. Most wouldn't survive a day, let alone qualify as hunters. The last license issued before the ban was given to a woman named Marlena Venn. She'll do fine. She had a mean streak a parsec wide. She also paid double. Exceptions like this are rare. Unless it suits the company to offer them. So there's no way I could get a license? Surely there's something I can do that would change your mind. Well, normally we charge 200 credits, but I could make an exception if you agreed to perform a task for us. It's similar to hunting. The sand people are becoming a problem. They destroy our sand crawlers and kill our miners. One particular tribe is the worst. It's as if their chieftain has decided to wage war against us. I would like their attacks terminated. Bring me their gaffy sticks as proof. If you agree to do this, I'll give you a hunting license now and pay a bounty for each stick later. I'll give a bonus for the chieftains. Why pay for the gaffy sticks? Why not their heads? Holy shit. Um. Yeah, I can, I can morally justify this. Like, Zerka... Zerka's trying to defend their operations, and as far as I know, as far as Mac knows, they're not actually like going out of their way to attack the Sand People. Why would they want to do that? There's no profit in it. But, uh... Yeah, sure, I'll agree. Excellent. Now, just so we understand each other, this is an enforceable contract. Zerka Corporation takes this very seriously. Right. Here's your license, and a few directions. We believe one of their enclaves is in the far south of the Dune Sea. You might try following one of our sand crawlers. They're regularly attacked. I wouldn't mind you escorting them. Alright, let's go back to my first questions. Very well, though I do have work to get back to. Um, mission, you said Griff was working for Circuit Corporation, didn't you? I'm looking for a miner named Griff. You don't happen to know where he is, do you? Griff? Uh, there's no Griff here. Never heard of him. No, I, I don't remember a single Griff on the Zerka Corporation payroll. You want to tell me about Griff. Can you spare me a few moments? I have something I want to get off my chest. I want to tell you about one of our workers. His name was Griff. We hired that Twi'lek some time ago. Not a good worker, according to his crew chief. 
always complaining and faking injuries to get out of work. He entered false timesheets and slept through his shifts. We even suspected him of stealing Zerka Corporation supplies, although we could never prove it. Yeah, that sounds like him. We would have fired him, but we needed workers. It would have been better for him if he had been fired. Then the sand people wouldn't have gotten him. The sand people. He was lost in a sand people raid we suffered not too long ago. There were prisoners taken, but our rescue parties never found anyone alive. In the end, it just wasn't cost effective to keep searching. All miners sign a waiver absolving Zerka Corporation of liability in these circumstances. Yeah, uh... So your workers are all expendable. Zerka Corporation cares deeply for all of its employees. That's why we've started a bounty program to thin the Sand People numbers. We didn't find his body, so we have to assume he was taken prisoner. Whether he's still alive, I couldn't say. That's all I can tell you. I shouldn't even have said this much. This is all privileged corporate information. I could lose my job. What a tragedy. There's some type of reward for saving him. As I said, all employees have signed waivers absolving Zerka Corporation of any financial liability if this occurs. It is the industry standard. I suppose you could apply for a special dispensation from the Zerka Corporation representative kiosk on Coruscant. Business hours only, please. Never mind, I want to ask you something else. Very well, though I do have work to get back to. I want to ask about Zerka Corporation. Of course. Zerka Corporation records are available at our representative kiosk on Coruscant. Business hours, please. For your needs here, we maintain a fully stocked storehouse. Speak with Greta Holda about any purchases. God, she's so corporate. <laughs> she's got, like, rehearsed responses and shit. May I ask how your operations on here on Tatooine are doing? Certainly. Please pose your questions to the representative <laughs> kiosk on Coruscant. Business it's like hours, a machine. Please. Why the secrets? The company stuck you here. Tell me. I suppose you're right. It's not like you can't tell the state of things just by looking around. Mining operations here have not been a success. The ore is substandard, and there's less of it than surveys indicated. With the Sand People raids on top of it all, it's no wonder this planet has been abandoned before. What makes the ore substandard? No one knows. There are odd energy fluctuations on this planet, but they defy analysis or explanation. But the effect is obvious. Ore taken from Tatooine is useless for construction. It degrades incredibly fast. Word is getting out about it, too. We're running out of buyers. Zerka Corporation is not doing well here. Does this mean you have plans to pull out? The company would be foolish to stay. It will be costly, but in the end, leaving will be cheaper than staying. I imagine all the heavy equipment will be abandoned. It's not worth shipping out things like sand crawlers. Maybe the Jawas will find a use for them when we're gone. <laughs> That's a laugh. Yeah, that would never happen. <laughs> but that answers the question, uh, where exactly those sand crawlers came from, and they were not originally Java technology. Jawa. Java technology. <laughs> they were not originally Jawa technology. They were uh, repurposed from mining enterprises that went out of business. So, uh, what do you mean the planet was abandoned before? We can't ignore evidence that Anchorhead was settled more than once before, and abandoned each time. There's probably a century between each attempt, just long enough for records about why it failed to disappear. The Jawas scavenge ancient tech all the time. It's a remote world. Who knows what's here? Let's go back to my first question. Very well, though I do have work to get back to. Yeah, you look super busy. Anything out of the ordinary happening? I assume that by out of the ordinary, you're referring to the destruction of Terrus? That is all anyone is talking about. I'm afraid Zerka Corporation is not offering any comment on those events. We wouldn't wish to anger the participants. No desire to mistakenly associate with the losing side. Zerka Corporation policy is not subject to your approval. It is a sound <laughs> business model. Save us your commentary. Know anything more local? If you're looking for local events, I suggest you go to the Swoop Track, one of the few leisure industries on Tatooine. Hmm. There was also a Jawa here earlier, saying something about needing help. I think he's out by the city gates. I can't be more specific about what he wanted. Our droid translators had difficulty with the message. Alright. Back to my Very first well, questions. Very well, though I do have work to get back to. 
I have to go. Goodbye. Farewell. Zerka Corporation welcomes your future inquiries. Journal entry added. Items received. Take a look at the item before the journal entry. I believe that's the hunting license. Yes, hunter's license. This signifies that the bearer may exit Anchorhead to hunt out on the desert deserts of Tatooine, surely that should say dunes, having acknowledged that Zerka Corporation bears no responsibility for any harm that may come to them. We don't have anything else that we got. Some parts again. Those shouldn't be highlighted, neither should this. No, that seems to be it. Mission. Hey there, what can I do for you? I want to talk to you about your brother. Talk? What is there to talk about? Those sand people took my brother prisoner. Griff may be a slime, but we have to go rescue him. We can't just leave him with those... those... those monsters? Don't worry, Mission. We'll get him back. I knew I could count on you. There's definite fringe benefits to being friends with a Jedi. Yes, indeed. I had to talk to Greta Holda here. Yes, what is it? If this is about mining or sand people, you go to the Zerka officers. I just manage the storehouse. Um. I'd like to ask about the bounties. Not my affair. You want to hunt for Zerka Corporation? You talk to the protocol officer. Uh, I'd like to ask about Zerka Corp. Then go ask a Zerka officer. I just collect my credits at the end of the day, just like the miners or guards. How do you think they're doing here on Tatooine? Doesn't matter what I think. Maybe they'll pull out. Maybe they won't. I'll man the store on the next rock. Positive attitude. Let's go back to my first questions. Very well, though, I do have work to get back to again. People around here are very, very busy standing around doing nothing. Anything out of the ordinary happening? Is that a coy way of referring to terrorists going down? You don't want my views on that. Well, why don't you go ahead and elaborate on them anyway? You know what? At least the Sith seem to make things happen. How old is the Republic? 15,000 years? It's stagnant. Every year ships get a little faster, droids get a little smarter, and people get a little faster. That's about it for pro people get a little fatter. That's about it for progress. I'd suspect I'd do just as much grunt labor under them as I do now. They'll at least shake things up. Even if it means the deaths of innocents. Nobody's innocent once their mother has left the room. That's just my view. What a cunt. Okay. What about local events? Don't care about them. I stay in the Zerka compound. We could be on a pleasure world for all I care or no. Back to my first questions. What do you have available for purchase? Mostly just standard circuit provisions and supplies, not enough to keep the locals happy. Have a look. Okay, so Greta here has a few objects that we might be interested in. Life support packs, advanced med packs, antidote kits, med packs, computer spikes, Zabrak field armor, that's one of the items that was added back into the game via the mod I made. It was a cut item. Uh, armor proficiency light, defense bonus of 7, max dexterity bonus of plus 4, damage resist resistance, resist cold versus 30. Or rather 30 versus cold. I'm having a hard time speaking today in case you haven't noticed. This is a higher quality version of the basic armor produced by the Zabrak. These were often reserved for field commanders and meant to be easily identified on the battlefield. Uh, it's pretty nice looking from what I remember it. I'd, I'd, I'd buy it and demonstrate it, but I don't feel like it. There's also Sabrak battle armor. Feats required armor proficiency light, max dexterity bonus of 6, max dexterity bonus of plus 4, damage resistance resist 20 versus cold. So that's like a, a slightly worse version of this stuff here. 
In northern Iridonia, the Zabrak produce expensive armor that nonetheless has become very popular on galactic markets due to the excellent low temperature defensive properties. Well, seeing as we're on a desert world, I don't know why there'd be cold weather gear here, but yeah, it's a thing. Wichani battle armor. Defense bonus of 7, max dexterity bonus of plus 3. This armor provides solid defense at the cost of some flexibility, although it is still an Ichani product and therefore well suited for to quick moving combat. We also have a Zabrak combat suit. We have a defense bonus of 5, a max dexterity bonus of plus 5. A Zabrak improvement on the combat suit. This armor is good protection where speed and unrestricted movement are more important than bulky plating. It kind of looks the same as the uh, the Chani combat suit that we have already. A military suit, a regular combat suit. We have or a heavy combat suit. We have a regular combat suit. We have powered light battle armor. Defense bonus of 8, max dexterity bonus of plus 2. Damage resistance resists 25 versus Sonic and strength plus 1. This is an early attempt at the power at power assisted armor. Dampening fields block the noise of servo motors unintentionally shielding against external extremes and sonic frequencies sonic frequencies as well. We have powered battle armor, which uh, beats required armor proficiency heavy, defense bonus of nine, max dexterity bonus of plus one, strength of plus one. The microhydraulics of this armor provides the operator with both protection and strength enhancement. It is rare outside of professional mercenaries and soldiers. We have fibro swords. Mandalorian heavy pistols. Um, these are pretty good. I don't know if, uh, if Karth's weapons are currently better, but again, it's going to be something I keep in mind. At the end of the, uh, the planet, I'm going to go through all of the merchants and see, you know, off camera probably and swap out and decide what I want to buy here, if anything at all. I still have that Tita's uh, sword to buy back on Tatooine, as well as some other items there. I think the, the CNS strength enhancer belt. So, I gotta kinda be careful what I spend money on here. Damage energy 4 to 11, damage bonus physical plus 2. Not many things have physical damage resistance, so that's actually a pretty good weapon. Balanced 2 plus 0 if used in the offhand. Attack modifier plus 3. Mandalorians boast that one that a shot from one of these pistols can take a starship out of commission. It's an obvious exaggeration, but for safety's sake, most listeners just smile and nod. Have a holdout blaster. Damage energy 1 to 4. Range 23 meters. Critical threat 19 to 20 times 2. On hit, 25 chance, 25 percent chance to stun for 6 seconds. DC 10 to beat it. It's balanced. Sometimes called a sleeper, the holdout blaster is a preferred method of temporarily incapacitating an enemy. Thermal detonators. Damage energy, 60 points. This is like a boss killer if you really need uh, to get out of a tight situation. But 2,000 credits apiece, wow. Damage energy, 60 points. Secondary knockdown, area of effect, 4 meters. Range long, save, DC 15, craft damage. This Republic device contains a baradium compound that produces a small fusion energy explosion of great force. Civilian possession of these items is outlawed almost everywhere. Plasma grenades, I think we already have some of those, so if we do, it means we've probably already read the description. Yes. Um, along with just about every other grenade type, I think. Let me just see here. Yeah. We've got every grenade type. No need, no need to, uh, to read those descriptions. You got a breath mask, we already read that. Uh, motion detection goggles. Skills, awareness plus two, demolitions plus one, security plus one. A built-in micro-tracking processor means the user wearing these goggles can detect almost any movement. Energy shield, a sound dampening stealth unit. Uh, various different types of mines, and a mesh underlay, which I am going to buy right now because it's a upgrade for armor, and there's only so many of those in the game. That was worth it. Uh, I don't think we have anything to sell, again. We didn't really pick up anything between then and now, so... Yeah, and we also got a journal entry, didn't we? I never did read that. Missions, brother. According to the Zerka rep on Tatooine, Griff was captured during a Sand People raid on one of the mining camps. Whether he is still alive is anyone's guess. We also have Sand People, Tatooine. Zerka Corporation has given you permission to enter the Dune Sea on condition that you stop the Sand People from raiding their mining interests. They want the Sand People Chieftain's gaffy stick as proof. Yeah, like, no, like, Circuit did not necessarily say we have to kill them. There might be another way around this. In fact, there is. 
and uh, we'll probably try and explore that method. I'm not I'm not a hundred percent on that yet. I'm kind of uh, I don't know. I don't know how my character would feel about uh, a group of people randomly attacking another group merely because they've come to their planet. I I don't know. It's I mean, I suppose it's legitimate if they're actually wrecking their homes, but if they're just, like, if they're just mining a, a barren wasteland of desert, like, I don't, I don't see what the big freaking deal is. So we'll have to see about that. I don't even believe a word of what Circuit Corporation said in there. There's always a peaceful solution to conflict. They are just lazy. Is this about Zerka wanting the Sand People chieftain killed? So you are the killer that they hired. You're just going to walk out there and wipe them out. I'd expect no less from fools. Sand people aren't animals. I've watched them, and they're intelligent. There must be a way to peacefully stop the attacks. I know it. But no one will try, of course. You can't even leave the city without Zerka approval. And they want the sand people dead. The Zerka said that the sand people attacked first. Well, yes, they did. They attacked Zerka, who deployed numerous giant sand crawlers and started tearing up the desert with ion shovels and whatever else. What would you have done? The sand people, it must have seemed like an invasion. There were no negotiations for territory or resources. I don't think the killing has been justified, but as a conservationist, conservationist, I'm hoping that someone at least tries to talk this out. Well, why hasn't anyone tried talking to them? Well, there is the small matter that they don't seem to speak a language that your average translator can understand. Is that their fault? There was even a Jedi here a few years ago that couldn't get, seem to get through to them. I think that ended in blood, too. Oh, fantastic. I'm not saying it would be easy, but someone has to try. Maybe with a real translation droid, not these old protocol scrap heaps walking around. Uh... Would have a capable droid. They are pretty rare, even on well-stocked worlds, but I'm sure I heard something about an unusual droid in a the shop here on Tatooine. I'm sure I heard Yukalaka say that it could speak in a Sand People dialect, although he'd say something about rust. With that droid, maybe you could talk to them, I wouldn't survive. Maybe with the desert robes as a disguise, you could get into their enclave. Would it be wise to deceive them if we're supposedly coming to peace, and how would we get those robes in the first place without it resulting in violence? Right off the cuff. Um... Where would that enclave you mentioned be? What? It's no secret where they are. The attacks get worse the further southwest of the Dune Sea you go. And people die on both sides. Yeah. Okay, so where would I get robes to match theirs? I suppose you could take them off the warrior raiders of the Dune Sea, but there's no way I'd survive some, anything like that, you know. Plus, you would have to explain why you killed their warriors if you're trying to make peace, but I suppose there is no other way. Well, maybe I'll look into it. We'll see. Sure, that's what Zerka Corporations keep saying, and then they just start shooting again. The fighting won't stop until they're all dead, or until Zerka leave. One thing is as likely as the other with the way things are going. Ah, what do I know? Yeah, you sound like you just want someone to fight your battles for you, man. Like, oh, so something needs to be done, but I, I won't do anything about it. I'm not, I'm not strong enough to do it. What's wrong with you? We're approximately the same build? Like... Alright. 
we'll, we'll see about this. I don't know. I don't have high hopes. Put it like that. Journal entry added. Sand people. Circuit Corporation is allowing you to enter the Dune Sea on the condition that you stop the Sand People raids, bringing them back the Chieftain's Gaffy Stick as proof. An alien conservationist has suggested that there might be a better way to stop the conflict if a sophisticated translation droid could be taken on the task. Um, also, if he finds that any harm has come to Mission's brother, all negotiation with the Sand People will be off the table. Uh, he does not negotiate with uh, with bloodthirsty killers, and uh, yes, is very very sad about the environment. But when people are losing their lives, and when someone close to him uh, loses someone they care about, uh, his sympathy goes out the window. Certainly for violent uh, violent natives who are just attacking people on site, it's not it's not right, and he won't stand by it. So he's not much of a bleeding heart that regard. So, where are we going next? I don't know, I think we have to... We've been to the hunting lodge, we've been to the Zerka offices. I guess we... The next stop is the swoop registration? But I do think that's gonna have to wait until the next episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I feel like we did, uh... We got another part of Tatooine done. We've got the rest of the Hunter's Lodge done and the Zerka offices. Next episode, we'll be heading on to the Swoop Track and then to the Cantina, most likely, where maybe we can find Bastila's mother. To be honest, um, I don't know why we met that alien out here in front. Like, shouldn't he have been up here somewhere? That would have made more sense. Uh, but anyway... I mean, the, the one that told us about uh, Bastila's mother, that is. It seemed like he was in the wrong position. Anyway, um, I will see you next time.